Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 17 Manchester City Cremo. Now in today's episode, we've got three huge games. Also, we're going to be having a squad report to end off the episode. But the first game is a Premier League game against Spurs. After that, we've got another Premier League game, this time against Everton. And then to end off the episode gameplay-wise, we've got a Champions League group stage game against Real Madrid. We've won our first two Champions League group stage games. So have so have Real Madrid. So it is the undefeated teams in the Champions League group stage just facing off against each other. Obviously, Manchester City versus Real Madrid. But our two Premier League games are huge for our season. We're sitting about fourth at the moment, and we'll be facing Spurs and Everton, two of the better sides here in the league, especially Spurs. We need to head into that game, the first game of today's episode, and make sure we do pick up the three points. But if you guys do want to enjoy today's episode, go ahead and drop a like. 150 likes for today's episode. Drop a comment down below. Make sure also subscribe for daily cream mode content. Without further ado, it's time to head into the first game of today's huge episode. So three huge games and the first game is against Spurs in the Premier League. And here we go in this game against Spurs at White Hart Lane. Our start of the Premier League season was good, but we did take a huge defeat in the previous episode against Swansea. We picked up a shocking defeat as we head into this game looking for the three points against a quality side. And we can see Gareth Bale. He'll actually be playing his former side later on in today's episode. Bale versus Ronaldo. When we do face Real Madrid, we take a look at Pochettino's side for this game. Harry Kane starting as a striker in a 4-2-3-M formation. Eriksen playing just behind him in a pretty strong side. But they do have Rose Dembele. Some, for some reason, they're starting Dele Ali, Jansen and Lloris on the substitutes. Don't know why they'll be starting Lloris on the substitutes. As we take a look at my Manchester City side for this game, there's been a few changes. The likes of David Silva have come into side, so has Fernando, Otamendi, also Kolarov. Four changes to the lineup. Ian Archer starting on the substitutes, so is Sane, Kyle Walker. Here we go in this game. Like I said, we need to pick up the three points, especially with the shocking loss in the previous episode. Here we go. Who's pushing forward? Gundogan to Sergio Aguero. Now Aguero's going to play through to Bale. Go on Bale in the 35th minute to make a 1-0 Manchester City is put a wide. And it would have been a good start in this game. Halfway through the first half, Bale picking up a goal. He did get played through and he took it on his right foot. I thought he would have taken it on his left foot. Put that one wide. Should have done a bit better by putting it on goal. But scores still remain at 0-0 at White Hart Lane. Plays that one through. Sergio Aguero now. Looks to cut this one inside. Plays it back to David Silva. There's no one running on the right-hand side. So Silva... Jesus is still on it. Jesus goes for the shot and he's put that one just wide in the 57th minute. Almost making a 1 0. The Spurs have been playing really defensive in this game, unlike them. And we're just looking to get on the counter attack and pick up goals. Jesus, Gundogan plays it through. Aguero's through. Can he get to it? No, he can't. Gundogan looking to put in a challenge, but he couldn't in time. Sissoko plays it to Christian Eriksen. Still on it, Eriksen. Ericsson's going to come in with the cross. Harry Kane, he's there with the header, and he's just put a wide. And a good header there from Harry Kane. And he just puts that one millimetres wide. Actually, it looked like it took a deflection off our defender, which can lead to a Spurs corner. Ericsson comes in. Harry Kane's on it again. Otamendi trying to cover it. Rose comes in with the cross. Company trying to get that one out, but he couldn't. But that's going to lead to another corner for Spurs. We're having a few chances now. With six minutes to go, Eriksen with the corner. David Silva trying to get that one out. Zabaleta, not the best ball. It's going to fall to Vertonghen. Great block. Company gets fouled. The game is going to end in a nil-nil draw. And Spurs just really parked the bus all game. Barely went on any attacks. They did have a few good chances, though. And they were looking for the draw, or at least a point. They weren't really going for the three points. We tried our best just to try and get on the attacks. But really, if Spurs aren't getting on the attack, they're just parking the bus, playing more defensive. It's really hard to break down. Game ends at 0-0. Spurs did have a few chances on goal also later on. But let's head into the second game of today's episode against Everton. And that is yet again going to be a huge game for our season. And we take a look at the match facts actually after that game before we do head into that second game. You can see both teams did have three shots, one on target. But you can see our chances on goal were more around the penalty area. Uh, Spurs' chances were outside the area pretty much. And you can see from the possession, they had loads of pos possession because they were just really holding the ball throughout the game. But like I said, ends nil-nil. We're heading to the second game of today's episode, looking for the three points. And it's time to head into the second game of today's episode. This time it's against Everton, this time at home at the Etihad. And the Etihad has been a fortress this season. We are unbeaten at the Etihad this season. I think we've beaten every team that has come here. And we're looking for the three points. Let's hope Everton go a bit more on the attack. 
after, like I said, Spurs were playing so defensive in that previous game. We're actually down in fifth, and after being in second, I think in the previous episode, after that loss, we dropped down into fifth. We win this game. We do maintain our position in fifth, and Everton haven't started the season too well. We're actually the best defensive side here in the league. We've only conceded two goals, yet we're still sitting in the fifth position, and the two goals that we did concede ended in losses. So for the games that we've actually conceded, those games do end in losses, and we've only conceded two goals in the space of, I think, six or seven games this season. Still the early stages, and we take a look at my City side players that have come back into the side, the likes of Laporte, Gael Clichy, also Kevin De Bruyne will be starting alongside Bale, and also Yaya Toure has come back into the CDM position. Also, we've got that midweek game against Real Madrid. I have taken that into consideration, even though I'm starting such a strong side for this game against Everton. And we take a look at the Everton side for this game. They've got Coleman starting in the right back. Lukaku starting as a striker in a 4-2-3 on formation. Barkley, Kevin Morales, Dalafeu also. Robles will be on the substitute. So is Emenike. Emenike is actually playing for Everton in this career mode. So here we go, looking to pick up the three points and hopefully playing a bit more of an attacking side. Not like the Spurs game, which did get quite boring. He's going to play to Aguero. Aguero is going to play to Kevin De Bruyne with the fake shot. De Bruyne is now going to go with the finesse shot. And he's just gone millimetres wide. And after 13 minutes getting on the attack, De Bruyne almost makes a one year Manchester City. Did well with the fake shot. Looked for the finesse shot into the bottom corner. And look at how close that was. McCarthy, Kevin Morales. Morales could go all the way. After 19 minutes, Everton with the chance. And Brava has to make sure that he stops that one. That one's going into the bottom corner after 21 minutes. Everton looking to take the lead. Cross comes in. Laporte with the header. Jesus going to collect it. Coleman inside. Toure looking to win it. Clichy with the long ball. Aguero looking for the header. Didn't get to it. But he's going to play to Jesus. Now Jesus plays it back through. Sergio Aguero. One on one chance. Save from the keeper. Jesus with the rebound, comes in, Aguero with the free header, 1-0 Manchester City, and there we go, during stoppage time in the first half, Aguero picks up the goal, it's 1-0 Manchester City, Jesus with the cross, Aguero with the header, it did take a deflection off the keeper, but it did go in, and when I did press the shoot button for that, I thought maybe I pressed it a bit too early, but fortunately for us, it's 1-0 Manchester City, before half time, and it looks like a player's gone down with an injury, and that man is Laporte, we can't afford Laporte, to be missing games. So he'll be coming off for Otamendi. And that is a change that will be done just before half time. It's 1 0 City. Kevin De Bruyne does well to get around that sliding challenge. Kevin De Bruyne now could go all the way yet again with a chance. And it's saved yet again from the keeper. Leighton Baines. Dalafeu. Funis Mori plays it through. Dalafeu goes for the shot. I think it took a huge deflection. That's why, that's why the shot wasn't really powerful. It took a huge deflection and. It was well well done there from Bravo, but you can see the Everton man was actually offside from the rebound. So we did do well there. Bravo with a good save. It took a huge deflection. He had to really change his position, and he did well. Now Gareth Bale finds himself on the ball. Cuts it inside. Look at this from Bale. Now Bale, all he has to do is play through Kevin De Bruyne with a one-on-one -on -one chance. De Bruyne with the shot, and it's saved. I was looking for that back post. I'm not sure why it went to the front post. Funes Mori switches it all the way wide to Valencia. Now Valencia for Everton could go all the way. Goes with the shot, Bravo pulls off a good save. And in the 90th minute, Everton having a chance of goal. They've actually pulled up their keeper. So right now, if we can get on the counter-attack, if Toure can win the header, yes he does. Aguero finds himself on, on it. Plays it over top, Jesus can go all the way. There it is, Jesus will go all the way here to make it 2-0 Manchester City in the 90th minute. He's gonna just going to trickle the ball over the line. And there it is, it's 2-0 Manchester City against Everton in a much-needed game to pick up the three points at the Etihad. Like I said, the Etihad has been a fortress so far this season, exactly how I want to keep it. Jesus picks up the goal, 2-0 Manchester City. And that was a much-needed three points in the Premier League. Three points in a 2-0 win against Everton. Jesus picking up the goal to seal the three points right at the end of the game in the 90th minute. Giving ourselves the confidence heading into the final game of today's episode. This is huge. It's against Real Madrid. And like I said, Bale will be facing his former side. Let's head into it. So we do have some bad news after that game. Laporta actually suffered a sprained ankle from that injury. He's going to be out for three weeks. So three weeks without Laporta. And something that I did see in the bottom right-hand corner, somehow Real Madrid drew to Copenhagen. So heading into this game, we are the only team that has won the first two games from our Champions League group. And we win this game. We go on nine points. Real Madrid will stay the same at four. So pretty much we win this game. And 
pretty much were already secured through into the knockout stages. And here we go guys, at the Bernabeu, and I said to start off this series that my main goal with this Manchester City side is to go ahead and win the Champions League and beating Real Madrid here at the Bernabeu would be one step closer to going ahead and making history here at Manchester City. That is the goal for this series is to win the Champions League, make history with the club and what a game this is going to be against Real Madrid. Bale playing his former side. I tried to play my strongest starting 11. There are a few players, the likes of Sane, I wanted to start, but it's either take out De Bruyne or Bale, who have been in form in the past couple of months in this series, the past couple of games, and I just cannot do that. Player to watch is going to be Bale facing his former side. And we take a look at the Real Madrid side. So after Bale has left the club, they've got Vasquez to actually replace him. They've got Ronaldo, Benzema, Rodriguez, Luka Modric and Casemiro, Ramos, Pepe, Cavial, Marcelo and Navas in goals. We all know it was either Rodriguez or Bale. You guys had to vote and Bale did win the vote. So then Bale made his way to Manchester City and we actually declined Rodriguez to not to come into the club. So was that choice right? We're going to find out in this game against Real Madrid as we take a look at my Manchester City side. Like I said, I try to start my strongest starting 11 as possible. Fernandinho has come into the side in the CDM position, returning from his injury in a 4-2-2-2 formation. Also, De Bruyne, Bale, Aguero, Jesus. Kolarov has also come into the side, so as Stones. They'll be starting in the centre-back position. And we are the only team in our Champions League group to have, win our, to have won our first two games. So we win this game, we go three wins from three games, but it would be huge against a quality side like Real Madrid. Plays it, Benzema, Ronaldo, Casemiro, Stones with a good win. Fernandinho, risky ball, but he pays off to Bale. Over the top, Jesus has more pace than Pepe. That's why he got to it, plays it inside. Aguero with a touch, Sergio Aguero goes for the shot and it's only just wide. Almost silencing the Bernabeu fans after 12 minutes. Sergio Aguero picking up the goal. The Bush City one on the lead. Just went wide of the goal. Plays it through. Lucas Vasquez is on the ball for Real Madrid, who's down the wing. He's still on it. And Fernandinho actually gives away a foul. This is actually a goal scoring chance for Real Madrid. I've had a lot more of the possession. Hamas Rodriguez with the cross. Ronaldo's there. Cole Walker looking to get it out. Company with a first time clearance. Straight to Carvial, who looks to switch it wide. And Real Madrid look to get on another attack. Lucas Vasquez is still on it. Inside the area, goes for the shot and it's in. It's a brilliant finish into that bottom corner. Real Madrid lead 1-0 after 51 minutes. And they've taken the 1-0 lead. I was not expecting that shot to actually go in. You can see they're looking to make their way onto goal. Company was there. Did well to make sure the shot did not get underway. But look at that shot. Cole Walker was actually at the back post. Should have done a bit better. But Real Madrid take a lucky goal. That's a very lucky goal for themselves. 1-0 Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. And we're looking to hit back as soon as possible. Because we would like to pick up three points. And stay undefeated in our Champions League group stages so far. De Bruyne making his way onto goal. Who's down the wing. He'll go all, the, go all the way here. But look at that challenge from Pepe. That's an incredible sliding challenge to actually get to De Bruyne. But throw in De Bruyne. Isco's going to play through. What a ball. Luka Modric. What a challenge from company. Falls to Morata. Who plays it through. Ronaldo for on goal. Ronaldo save from Bravo. Ronaldo with the rebound. No, he couldn't. Bravo punches that one out into the path of Bale. Jesus couldn't get that one through. And you can just see Real Madrid just always win the ball back no matter what. Aguero with the header. Kevin De Bruyne now looks to play through. Bale hasn't really done much in this game. Aguero, who's still on it, gets around Pepe. Gets around Marcelo. Sergio Aguero save from Navas. And what a goal that would have been for our Champions League campaign. Corner's going to come in from De Bruyne. Walker with the header straight to Navas. Tony Cruz on the ball. Good win. Fernandinho. But that is going to be it. Not the result that we wanted against Real Madrid. It's a 1-0 loss to Real Madrid. They did pick up a goal late in the first half and that was enough to win themselves this game. They pick up a 1-0 win. We couldn't do it against a team like Real Madrid. Obviously, one of the world's best, best Real Madrid, but we did play well. We did have a few chances on goal. Lucas Vazquez picks up the goal and that is actually the man who has replaced Gareth Bale and Gareth Bale didn't really do much for our side. So it's a 1-0 loss to Real Madrid. Real Madrid will now be jumping into the first position in our Champions League group stages. We're only one point behind them. So hopefully we can still go through. But let's take a look at a squad report. Then the league table. 
to end off today's episode. So we take a look at the squad report to end off today's episode. We start off with Bravo. You can see he hasn't really done much this season. A lot of players actually staying the same. He's still being the early stages of the season. Stones has gone up by one. You can see Gundogan's gone up by one. Surprised to see Toure. He's slowly going down, but he's just playing so well this season. You can see 14 games, four goals, and three assists for a central midfielder is actually really good. Gundogan's gone up by one. Bale hasn't really started the season too well. He did start it quite well in the first couple of games, picking up two goals, but ever since then, hasn't really done much. De Bruyne has done well to start the season. 14 games, four goals, five assists. So has Gabriel Jesus, eight games, four assists, two goals. Aguero started well also, picking up a few goals and a few assists. Rui's gone up by one. And we take a look to see, no other players have really gone up by any overalls. Ian Nacho's gone up by one, so has Leroy Sane. He start, started the season well, Laporte stayed the same. Raheem Sterling's gone up by one. Hasn't really been used too many times because he's just struggling to break into the starting 11. And then you can see we go into the players that are out on loan, Joe Hart. Nasri, Boney, Mangala, and they haven't really gone up too much themselves, so really not too many players have gone up overalls so far to start this season. And that is how we're going to end off today's episode. You can see that we're sitting in the fifth position, only one point behind Hull, two points behind Chelsea who are undefeated heading into today's episode and have lost two games in a row, so if things do go our way, we win our next game, those teams lose. We jump up into the second position, surprising to see Stoke City, after eight games, have not lost a game. Who would have thought that United are just sitting above the relegation zone? Watford are in the relegation zone, so are Burnley, Sunderland, Liverpool, Everton also down there, Spurs, Arsenal mid-table. It's just been a crazy start to the season. And if you guys did enjoy today's episode, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment down below, subscribe also if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you all on my next video.